So we're here at uh, CES Unveiled. And uh, please introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm Richard from Enchanted Tools, a Paris-based startup. And, and uh, we are introducing uh, at CES Miroka, one of our humanoid robots dedicated to uh, social logistics. And with a very bright face. There's so much uh, brightness in the face that my camera cannot <laughs> capture it. Is that like a projector in the back? Yeah, of the... it's a video projector and a 3D engine like in video games. So the face is animated in real time. And balancing in a ball. Yeah, it's balanced in a ball because it's ball allow the robot to be really agile. And to and move fast? And move fast, yes. Eventually? Uh, like like right three, now, huh? three kilometers per hour, like a human that walks fast. Uh, it will be able to, or right now it's prototype, no, right? No, it will be able to. But it looks very uh, cool right now, but it's just a 3D printed uh, prototype, or no, are you in a mass mix, production? No, there is a mix. Uh, it's not a mass production, because we have only a, uh, 10 of them, but uh, we are entering in uh, production this year, because we are starting to sell the first prototype for academics in 2024, and uh, release a full product in 2025. Do you have any connection with Al Aldebaran Robotics? Yes, our founder, Jérôme Monsieur, was one of the co-founders of Aldebaran and works on Nao and Paper. That was, a, that was like amazing story 10 years ago, kind of, right? Yeah. Uh, it's been selling maybe hundreds of thousands of those or yeah. something. Yeah. And, uh, but I really want to see a robot that's really useful and they can go out in the real world yeah. and not just be education, not just be fun, but more That's, than that. Yeah, is there a chance exactly. to do it? Exactly. What we've done is uh, first we, we are doing a social logistic robot, so moving object around, and then we add the face to bring more than utility, doing more than useful, but not the opposite way. We're not starting with the social robots that do things. So, so the, the hand will be good one? You need a good hand. Yeah, of course. They it will can, be able can to carry really do stuff. One, one point five kilograms per hand and three kilograms in both hands, and is able to pull around fifteen kilo, kilograms. Is it too much to ask it to do some kind of like a demo with holding stuff? Yeah, no, we don't show right for now. now. Yeah, we wait. All a right, bit. Yeah. but uh, uh, you just have the guy walking around. You have him talking right now. Uh, he can say a few words, and uh, but what you see is what we are going to do. Uh, how far is it from? Uh, Mass production and uh, one, cleaning, year. one year, one year, yeah. cleaning my dishes, yeah. uh, ah. washing the laundry, <laughs> no. uh, cooking. Uh, in fact, we don't want the robot to be uh, for individual for now. We we prefer that the robot will be used for uh, many people, like uh, hospitals, because it's a lot of uh, yeah. of of raw materials, and so it's important for us that, for an ecological point of view, it serves as much people as possible. So. As many uh, people. So you're showing, uh, on your official video, you're showing, uh, it looks like it has a bunch of sensors on the head. Yeah. It can do like yes. uh, You have a 3D camera on the head and a 3D camera on the, on the bottom. Is it because it's too expensive for being a uh, private use? No, it's a, uh, no, it's uh, more that we use a lot of uh, hard ma materials and, and the battery and everything. And so we would like the robot to be used by collective. Collectives. But, yeah, collectives. Is there a price? Yes, we are heading for 30,000 euros. This uh, is much cheaper than the, uh, what's it called? The, the, the dog, the big yeah. dog? What's it called? Boston the, Dynamics. Uh, yeah, yeah they, they have a 400,000 or something like yes, that? Yes, 100,000, I think. Yeah. So how, how does it compare what this can do compared to the Boston Dynamics? In fact, it's uh, different okay. usages. Boston Dynamics, it's more about uh, patrolling. And us, it's more about moving things around. So it's, this one is more dedicated to work with humans on a daily basis, where the Boston Dynamics is more to go where humans cannot go. And you need to make sure that it never falls. Yeah, of course. Of course. How, how is that going to be? Is it going to be possible? Like, can you achieve something that even like, Boston Dynamics, they kick the dogs yeah. and stuff. But uh, eventually, is that going to be? We have a lot of uh, patents. Uh, but we are not showcasing, but we have a lot of solutions. I, but uh, it's, uh, it's uh, Patent are pending, so we're not gonna I show. think instead of uh, letting itself be kicked, it should never be good to be kicked. No. It should avoid the kick. <laughs> it should be like a, uh, maybe, has, maybe. have some kind of a martial arts uh, yeah. feature or something, yeah. because it could see people coming, trying to push it and be, yeah. be out of the way. Avoid uh, br brutality, yeah. peace. We hope, right. we hope to have this. All right. Yes. Thank Thank you. Thank you. Hi, so please introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Cedric. I'm working for Uncharted Tools. It's the society uh, which um, produced this robot. 
So um, in the society, I'm a uh, software engineer, and I'm here to um, to develop uh, ecosystem an, or an intern. I'm working with the interaction team, so I'm working with uh, all the as you the can vision? see, yeah, the vision, the the what movement is this 3D of the camera ears. it has. It's uh, it's able to 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 measure the distance from the staff. Yeah, it's a deep uh, camera, so uh, it can detect the environment. It can detect the position of the eyes of the of the body of the the person um, you can see. And uh, you can detect this object. This object is a handle. It is. Um, it's got only... a QR code, kind of. Yeah, it's uh, the only uh, object that the robot can grasp, because we want it to limit the possibility of an uh, object uh, which can be, be grasped. And this object can be fixed on a on a tray, on a cart, as uh, you can see maybe in, in this video. Uh, just after. And you can uh, hold a uh, load, uh, three kilograms uh, with the arms uh, in front of him. You can bring the food to all the patients in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can um, pull cart with uh, 15 uh, kilograms, with a charge of uh, 15 kilograms. And you um, can interact with people. As you can see, you can see the position of the eyes. What is the chipset? Speak. Is it NVIDIA? Uh, the I, CPU? I can Se secret. Yeah, I can secret. speak about uh, the. But uh, you need a powerful chipset in there to do a fast uh, 3D yeah, we have, computation uh, and everything. We have computer in the the robot uh, to control every module of the robot, uh, the hands, uh, different sensor. Everything from one chip. Uh, maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I can't uh, yeah. speak a lot of uh, the the intern of the robot, but uh, yeah. All right. And uh, uh, for the moment, it's a, pro a prototype, so it's not the final version. Um, for the moment, the shoulders are too large, and we want to reduce this. And uh, as you can see, he is uh, on a boat on a spur. Yeah. And it uh, allowed to to move the robot with only one finger, so not a lot of force to apply on the robot to, to, to move it. Uh, are you building any software ecosystem for apps or something, or third parties, or? Yeah. Uh, because if you partner with the hospital, they want to do stuff, and they will maybe have an engineer try to develop something for them, ah. or, uh, or it yeah. should be uh, easy for people to program it. Yeah, so um, we want to to give order to the robot uh, SV. So uh, at the final version, we want to give order with voice commands. Like, uh, for example, every day at uh, 5 uh, a.m., we want to uh, go, uh, we want that the robot go in the kitchen uh, grasp a, a tray with a, I don't know... A, breakfast? Yeah, breakfast, for example. And bring the patient in room yeah. number five? So uh, every day we do uh, the action. So no need to be a developer to, to do that. Just the voice uh, will be... Uh, will, uh, will Just be say, hey, hey Google, or not uh, Google, hey, we, uh, something uh, for, else? For the moment, we don't, don't know if we will... Uh, Interact with, the, uh, uh, with uh, Alexa and everything. Comment. Yeah, maybe we yeah. will do that, but... Uh, for the moment, we don't know if we will. Uh, I want to give it that. my own name, you know. Yeah. I want to say, "Hey, Nicolas." Yeah, but for for that, uh, so you have the rune. The rune. It's a little object, as you can see here. Up, and it is rune. If I press the object. Yeah. So um, this rune can be a, a person rune, a user rune. So I can say, OK, this rune will be uh, my personal rune, uh, Cedric, the Cedric rune. And um, I can say to the robot, OK, come, uh, come, uh, come, uh, go in Cedric uh, runes, and he, he will uh, move. The, uh, and uh, the move. 
emotionally is also very nice to uh, some people have interaction with a friendly face and uh, you know like uh, it can uh, help people deal with uh, because humans are very crazy sometimes or very sad or very happy or very yeah. you know like uh, it, for example in Japan I know they go crazy over the Ibo robots the old people's homes they, they yeah. need to have more and more they, they just buy all of them on the market even though they're 20 year old robot and they cannot do so much but imagine if this guy could do a little bit more and if it's available and all the old people homes can have a bunch of them to uh, you yeah. know like uh, because I, I think a lot of the job for those people who take care of the elderly is just to to tell them everything's fine everything's fine no it's not time yet for lunch it's not time yet for but this guy could do some of that work yeah right yeah he doesn't care if it's repetitive yeah so at the moment um, the, the robot um, can see the emotion of the, the person, but uh, with IA, we can uh, implement this on the robot. Uh, he can speak, so uh, he can uh, encourage uh, people uh, and give, uh, say, uh, let's go. Uh, I don't know if I can. You can I say want something like, say hey, something hey, hey, little human, yeah. don't worry about it, everything yeah, is fine. Exactly, exactly. And, uh, and you can also uh, uh, say, uh, robots live forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, exactly. that's, can, that's, can that's a that. weird joke. Yeah. But uh, some humans don't. Mm. Yeah. Uh, what I want to see it do is to catch his fall. It protects himself with the hands uh, so it doesn't break when it falls. Uh, when it needs it to be able to catch. By, with its hands, if it's falling, ah. it needs to be ready to catch himself. Yeah. So um, right now it doesn't, right? Yeah, because it's a prototype. But we are working on a on a something uh, where the, the robot can't fall. Can never fall. Yeah, it's uh, for the security. For ah, you just have a one-ton ball down there. Yeah, but very heavy for, ball. Yeah, <laughs> but for the moment it's a prototype, so we don't have uh, the the system, but. Uh, we want we develop actually uh, ah, this. So actually, you know, the if the motors are strong enough in there, it will never fall. It just needs yeah. to be strong yeah, motors but, on uh, the ball. It's no matter too, how much you push easy. it, it will never fall. Yeah, it's not it's not really too easy because uh, the the mass is on the top of the robot. So uh, if I push with a, a large force, it's complicated to. It's just the ball. Really the, the, the ball beat. should just. I don't know. Okay, it's hard. It's easy for me to just say that. I'm just yeah. a YouTuber, you know. Yeah, I have no idea how I the know. real world works. Yeah. All right. Do you have a big team to make this? It's like a lot of uh, very yeah. advanced hardware engineers and software engineers. And yeah. So we have uh, hardware engineer, software engineer. Uh, the first prototype was developed in one year, with uh, 50 person, 50, uh, 50 experts, and uh, now we are about 80, 80 people and we want to grow um, to uh, 150 people in one year. Nice. Hey, uh, what's your name? Uh, can you bring me a coffee, uh, Nespresso? Oh, is that your name? Oh. Okay, you, you don't want to talk, huh? You don't want to have a conversation with me? Um, what, uh, what time is it in Tokyo right now? Ah, it's too much, huh? How old are you? Okay, I'm just trying. 